Ripple secures another win as judge orders SEC to turn over Hinman documents. Ripple has recorded another win in the company's ongoing lawsuit with the Securities Exchange Commission after a United States judge overruled the regulator's attempt to withhold the documents relating to former division director William Hinman. Notably, the speech is considered a crucial part of Ripple's evidence in the case <clears throat> where the regulator accuses the blockchain company of violating security laws in issuing XRB tokens. Initially, SEC had objected to the release of the documents citing attorney-client privilege. Despite the depressed market conditions, it talks about the price. I don't really care about that right now. Um, the long and the short of it, uh, of what this means here, <clears throat> is that all of the documents, the drafts of the speech, the speeches themselves, his calendar, the meeting, everything is going over to Ripple, guys. This is very serious for William Hinman. The SEC, we are really going to find out, will it protect its own? Because he is potentially getting fed to the wolves here. Once this information comes out, that immediately following, well, this is what we expect to see in these, in these documents, immediately following conversations and meetings with Joseph Lubin of Consensus, the drafts did not reflect Ethereum, and then they and then the actual speech did. There, I think there may have been one draft. Maybe I get this wrong. Maybe there was one draft that had it in, but many, many more that didn't. You will see the influence of the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance, Joseph Lubin, consensus on this. Now, look, be very careful here because, look, I'm not mad about Ethereum not being a security. Yeah, right. You know, and I think if you're in any community, here's something I see people all the time. Cardano community, they, they want to see XRP considered, and, and some, not all, some people in that community want to see a, a Ethereum classified as a security. They want to see XRP classified as a security. XRP people probably want Bitcoin to be, guys, no one should want any of this classified securities. Right. It affects us all. Who do you think the SEC is coming after next? They're probably going to come after Cardano. They didn't have to do anything wrong for them to come after them. That's what you have to understand. That's what you see in this case. They're going after Ripple and XRP without cause. They will do the same thing to your favorite crypto project. And Cardano is right up there. It doesn't matter if they broke the law or not. It doesn't matter if, if what matters is they did not do an SEC registered token sale. Therefore, the SEC will try to make an argument that it's a security, even though we know it. We know it's not. You don't want Ethereum to be reclassified. So, hey, Joseph Lubin, the accusation is you know the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance that also consists as part of, seems that that you're part of, basically paid off a bribe. That's the accusation um, to William Hemmings to get him to include Ethereum. I'm not mad about it if they did it. Sure, send people to jail if they got to go to jail for bribes, whatever, but I'm not mad about that. That, that affects me in a, in a good way. But the fact is, is that when it comes to this whole situation, it was done very, very, very dirty. Yeah. William Hemmings is exposed here. We'll have to see what happens. But right now, but right now, the SEC, if they're going to try to protect William Hemmings, because look, you know what William Hemmings is saying? He's saying, Throw me to the wolves. Go ahead. Th throw me. Yeah. I got all the dirt. I got all the dirt. Yeah. I know everything that happens in this corrupt office. Right. This almost leads me to, to believe we could see a quick settlement. We could see a settlement before the end of the year to prevent William Henman going to prison <laughs> because or getting immunity to talk about what Gary Gensler or some of the other people there. We think Hester Pierce is good. I think Esther Pierce is good. Seems like it. Seems like it, but you never know. Um, you know, a lot of times in crypto, you know, the villains are the good guys and the good guys are actually, or the hero. The villains often turn out to be the heroes and the heroes turn out to be the real villains sometimes. So you don't know who's who uh, a lot of times. Um, but look, certainly hope that, um, you know, I, I hope it goes the route of putting William Hemman on trial. That's what I would like to see. I, and let him prove his innocence. Let him prove it. Let let the state or the Fed prove his guilt. More likely, he just has to defend himself. Let's see. 
Let's see what comes out from that. That's what I want to see. So um, I don't, look, if he didn't do anything wrong, certainly don't want to see him go to jail. It's very hard to look at the, the facts of this case and not believe there was wrongdoing somewhere. Very difficult, almost impossible. 